Okay, so first thing we're going to do is click on Enable Content. Okay, so that's step number one. Uh, click the Table button. Create Table. This table shows up here. Um, edit the default. Okay, step number two edit the primary key, add a fields table, double click the cell containing the ID field name, and oh, we want to double click that. And we want to name this number ID and press enter. Okay. Select the short text data type for the new field. Okay. Type first name. Enter and select short text. Type last name. Press enter. Okay. Now we need to add some remaining fields. We want uh, address. We want city, state, zip code, then we want email address to be a hyperlink. And then short text for the cell phone number. Okay. Click off of here somewhere. Okay, like so. And then press Control S to save. Save as the name of the table should be called members click OK alright ok step number three edit the field properties of the members table so click the member ID field name click the name and caption button Type member ID, and the caption, and we won't enter anything in the description, and then click OK. Select the first name, name the caption, and we will type out first space name. Click OK. We for type 20 in the field size property. Field size, we want 20. Click Enter. Now for last name, field and caption. I want this to say last name, enter, and the size needs to be 25. Address, the size needs to be 45. City, 25. 
state needs to be 2, because that would just be the state abbreviation. Zip code will be 5. Email address will be, nope, it won't contain anything, but when you change the caption, say email. And the cell phone number name will be cell phone and then the length will be 12. Okay. All right. Click the save button. Okay. Step number four. Enter the member records in the members table. Click the first name cell. Type Geneva, G E N E V A, press tab to move to the next field, the last name, address is 1850 Stone Ridge Court. CA, oops, Cameron Park for the city, state is CA, zip code is 95682, at gmail.com, cell phone, is seven eight zero dash eight eight six 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 two five okay um, okay and it goes down the next line tab to the next field remember that if you tab out since member ID is an auto field, you do not need to add a value, simply tab the next field. So now I will enter in this data. It's in table 1-10. Okay, it's Alright, step number five, change the layout of the members table, click the click, select the zip column, the zip code column. Right click. 
field width, type 7, and click OK. Click the center line button, that's under Home tab. Text formatting, center alignment, like so. Select the state button. Place your pointer on the right border of the field state name. Use the double size arrow to adjust the column using auto fit. Click the center. OK. Click the alternate row color drop down list home tab okay blue gray fourth column second row blue gray text two lighter 80 percent click control s save close the members table So, okay, step number six, import data from Excel into the members table. Click the new data source, so external data, new data source, from file, select Excel, browse, and mine is probably under downloads, and members data. If you can't find this, it means that you probably didn't download the data um, for uh, where you usually download your start file. There's also another place where you can download the members table. So we click that. Click the open button. Let's see, pin to copy. Choose the members table, click OK, click on open, click on next, click on finish, close. We'll open up the members table to verify it does contain more data. It does, and things look pretty good. The names look pretty good. The states and zip codes look reasonable. So it probably imported the data correctly. You can always open up the Excel file to verify if you want to. Okay. Step number seven, okay, we just did that. We opened up the members table. Now we want to hide the state field. Select the state column. Click the more button, which is under the home tab. Records group. And let's click on hide fields. And then we will save it. We can do control S or just hit this button up here. Step number nine, sort the members table. Click the double down, the drop down arrow to the right of the city. Okay. And we will sort from A to Z. Notice that the records now are sorted by the city. Now click the zip code. and click to select. We want to drag this to the right of the left, uh, to the left of the last name. There, let it go. Click anywhere to deselect the zip column. Click and hold the pointer over the zip column. Okay. Click the ascending button. It's under the Home tab, Sort. Okay, so that sorts it as well by zip code. 
Now we can click the remove sort, which puts it back the way it was. Click anywhere to deselect. Now move the zip code to the right of the city. So we're going to put it back now where it was. Oops. Okay, so we're going to select this and then drag it back where it was. Okay. Step number 10 filter the members table. Select 916 and the cell phone number. Remember ID 2. Okay. So we're going to highlight 916. And now we're going to go to the selection here and select begins with 916. So now it lists all the telephone numbers that start with 916. Click the drop down and We'll clear the filter so that way everything else displays properly. Okay, now step number 11 filter the data sheet using a text filter. So, right click, uh, click the drop down arrow to the right of the email. Okay, select text filters and contains. Okay, and uh, enter Gmail, so we'll type Gmail and press enter. Now it will list all of the records that the email contains Gmail somewhere in the email. Okay, and so now we'll use the toggle filter button home tab, sort, and filter. So we'll hit toggle, which will now list all of the records again. So if we want to just look at the ones that we have filtered by Gmail, we could click on toggle filter again. As you can see, we're just listing the ones. So we can click this, and we can say clear filter, and now it contains all the records again. Okay, we're going to close Step number 12, we're going to close the uh, members table. Remember the way to do that is go over and click on the X. Uh, yes, we do want to save. Uh, you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, either way should be fine. Double click the members table. Uh, step number 13, review the completed table. Double click it. Okay, now we click the X over here to get rid of it. Okay, now step number 14, add database properties. Use the database properties dialog box. Click the file tab. Click the info button. Okay. View and edit database properties. Uh, in the title area, we want to Name this American River Members the title uh, for the author. We, we want to type in Taylor Mathos Company is ARCC. We click OK to save changes. Okay, well then click the X to save or to exit out and that's the end.